Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to update statistics, also known as stats of all the databases or single database in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning updating stats of all user, user databases using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface. And we'll be doing the same thing using T-SQL script. And we'll also be looking at uh, different options, updating index st stats only, updating column stats only uh, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic graphic user interface and T-SQL. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I wanted to mention a couple things that uh, update stats uh, can be performance hit. So always if you wanted to update the stats of your all database user databases should be off hours. Um, it's uh, really resource intensive. It uses uh, tempdb a lot and, uh, and plus uh, all the queries when you update the stats with the full scan at least all the queries needs to be recompiled and it takes time so it is a performance hit but um, if your uh, normal update stat plan doesn't work default uh, usually uh, SQL Server optimizer uh, update the stats on regular basis uh, depends on your query but if that's not good enough for you then you can go ahead and basically schedule your updates and once a week maybe is a, a good option for updating the stats on the database uh, not every day certainly because it's a performance hit so just wanted to mention that before we get into doing this uh, let's go ahead and uh, this is my SQL Server Management Studio right here I'm connected with SQL Mirror is my instance and T uh, Tech Brothers client right here TBS client is my SQL is my server where my SQL Server SQL Mirror is residing. In order to uh, we're in order to create uh, the update stats plan, we'll be using the maintenance plan uh, in SQL Server. And in order to go in maintenance plans, we'll we need to expand management of uh, SQL Server, whatever the SQL Server instance that you're connected with. In maintenance plan, right here, you need to right click on maintenance plan and click on new maintenance plan. In this particular demo, we're updating the stats of all user database. So we're going to go ahead and update, update stats all user DB. This is the name of my maintenance plan. You can name the maintenance plan on the naming convention that you uh, have in your checklist. We're going to go ahead and click OK. As soon as you click OK, if this toolbar up here doesn't appear, this toolbar is basically a container of a lot of tasks that you can use in order to build your maintenance plan. But if it doesn't appear, you can click on View and go on the toolbar right here and click and this toolbar should appear. So as you notice right here, there are different tasks available for us in order to build this maintenance plan. We're going to go in this video, we're going to go ahead and click on Update Statistics task and drag and drop right here in a working area on the right side so as you notice right here there's a big x sign that means that this task is not configured yet we have to configure the task before we can save and can use this maintenance plan so let's go ahead and configure this task in order to configure this task you need to either right click and go to the properties of this task or click on add it or you can simply double click on this task and it'll open this uh, update task task window for you up here is the first connection local server connection this will be means that um, this is your local uh, where you're creating um, right here TBS client SQL mirror and in your case it would be different so that this, this would consider that if you wanted to use this as a central uh, server that is managing other uh, SQL servers you can also click on new and create connection and create um, on a remote SQL server uh, this maintenance plan so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with local server up here we have uh, database options and I mentioned in uh, in the start of my video that you can select multiple options up here first is all databases that include the system databases if you don't want to use uh, if don't want to update the stats on all databases including system databases then you can click on just system databases this will include uh, master msdb uh, tempdb model or uh, the um, other system databases that you uh, you know the, that you have on your SQL server instance 
this will include that but basically most of the time we wanted to update the stats on user databases which is this option right here all user databases this will exclude master model msdb temp db um, and distribution database in case you have the replication setup so uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on uh, uh, this in this demo but uh, one thing I wanted to quickly show you that if you wanted to specifically define just few critical databases that you would like to go ahead and update the stats you can click on these databases and you can pick and choose let's say I wanted to update stats on report server I wanted to update stats on sales order database so we can go ahead and select in this way but keep in mind that up here uh, ignore database where uh, a state is not online this is very important let's say that you have a turn um, some of the databases offline for some time and you're you're planning to bring them online after a couple weeks uh, but if you don't click this option you're going to get an error if you have in your database list right here any database that's uh, offline so I would always recommend that when if you're using maintenance plans to update your stats always click up here ignore database where the state is not online so this is for offline databases so we're gonna go ahead and click on all user database backup I'm um, um, sorry update stats so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see that uh, right here uh, the object uh, if you click on all user database that means index uh, I'm sorry that means the tables and the views that's going to be update updated all the stats on tables and views are going to be updated if you wanted to do the column if you click on column st stats only it's going to uh, do all the objects right here you get an option if you have more objects right here if you select a single database backup which I'll show you in a second that you will get option to select certain tables if you don't want to go ahead and update the stats on all the day the whole database or all the databases you can specify single database and single object or m multiple objects you can select from there which I'll show you in a second and other thing right here I wanted to show you index stats only if you just wanted to update the indexes the uh, stats then you can click on this option and uh, you can update just the index index stats couple option right here uh, scan type full scan and sample by if you have a, a particular sample of the data that you wanted to update the stats on you can do that this is useful in a certain case that uh, your default uh, stats are working fine for the whole database for every other application but there are certain queries who uh, those queries are using some sample data and that's where you're running into issue and you would like to just uh, go ahead and update the stats uh, in that case um, so uh, up here you can do the sample by 50% right here you get two options one is sample by percentage and sample by rows if you click on sample by rows that means this will depend on the rows of your uh, table so it's gonna be zero to the uh, maximum rows in your table and if you do the percentage it's going to be zero to hundred so um, sometimes it's a good idea just to get um, a certain query that is running slow and you do know that the update stats is going to help you in that case you can go ahead and use sample data keep in mind this is also plays a big role in uh, partition table so uh, I just wanted to show you real quick so we're gonna go ahead in this demo full scan which is going to take some time and that's why I, as I said that it's a performance hit you can you should always update the stats uh, during off hours and don't do uh, the update stats very frequent because if you do that your query needs to recompile which means a performance hit so just keep in mind so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go all existing statistics right here um, one good option using um, maintenance plans right here if you click on view T SQL it will bring uh, the uh, T SQL uh, script to update all the stats one uh, advantage to do that if you click on this you can pick and choose what table in that perspective you wanted to update the stats and this is for ad hoc you can also use this script in your uh, um, SQL Server agent job let's say that you wanted to get most of the tables and views in the databases 
uh, that you selected but there are certain tables that you really don't want to update the stats maybe they're really big or heavy or whatever the case may be so you can go ahead and get this script copy this script and uh, take those tables out from this script and uh, run as a SQL Server job uh, using T-SQL and we'll be doing that I'll, sh I'll show you uh, um, you know when I upload the uh, T-SQL script and that basically that T-SQL script is uh, created by this view T-SQL but keep in mind sometimes this view T-SQL doesn't work exactly the way you would like to but um, you need to take a look and uh, uh, and go through the syntax if uh, there is any syntax error you need to go ahead and resolve that so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see right here our um, update stats uh, stat task is configured and it's all green there's no red X up here so we're gonna go ahead and save all this plan keep in mind keep in mind that I have not scheduled this um, uh, update stats plan I wanted to keep it on demand let's say that uh, I run into some issues after three weeks and I know that my stats might have gone haywire and I wanted to go ahead and update my stats during off hours I can go ahead and run the job then uh, I this is my own personal feelings uh, I mean if you wanted to go ahead and uh, schedule your uh, update stats you can click on here and you can go ahead and use this scheduler and you can schedule that but keep in mind the best practices from Microsoft Microsoft and from your own experience as well so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and cancel out from here as you can right here if you you have two options in order to execute this if you uh, go in maintenance plan refresh and you will see the maintain, maintenance plan right here you can right click on the maintenance plan and execute that maintenance plan or you, you you can go in SQL Server jobs because each maintenance plan when you save it creates a SQL Server job if you don't see if, if your view is just like mine you can click on view and go to object explorer detail and it will show you all the jobs as you can see right here this update stats all user DB job is created you can right click on this job and start the job right here so it'll update your stats uh, all the user database stats will be updated now let's go back to our um, update stats maintenance plan and I wanted to show you a couple things so if you double click that will go that will let you edit this maintenance plan so we're gonna go ahead and use a single database which in this case I'm going to go ahead and use report server so click OK as soon as you select the single user database right here you get an option whether you wanted to do tables and views both or you just wanted tables so if we just wanted tables we can go ahead and just do the tables as soon as we select the tables you can go ahead and click on select one or more option this is what I was telling you that if you wanted just a specific table that you wanted to update the stats you can select it from here let's say that I wanted to update the stats on DBO employee and we're gonna go ahead and click OK and let's go ahead and generate our T SQL from here as you can see right here this is just going to update the stats using this database right here update statistics DBO dot employee with full scan right here is these are the options with the full scan uh, we up, up here we selected that and you do have an option of sample uh, I would say thousand thousand hundred rows and let's take a look on the query right here with sample hundred rows I just wanted to show you that how you can generate the T-SQL query and save it just in case if you wanted to just go ahead and run a query to update the stats on just particular one table or two tables you can add that you can click on go and add the other tables in this particular list so this is one other option that I wanted to show you so we're gonna go ahead and cancel and we're gonna close this let's go ahead and upload T-SQL script if I can find my T-SQL script right here
what we can create basically let me show you real quick that's the same script that I have created so what we're going to do as soon as this script is generated this is actually a better option for you to learn it's going to take a few seconds to generate the script for us so this is a bit tedious right here you have to kind of keep going and select all the tables or the views or all the objects that you are interested in so we're gonna go ahead and close this new query and we can paste it right here I just wanna go through a little bit with the T-SQL query right here so right here is the the database this is going to be sales orders database right here all the way until it ha it completes with the sales order database back behind the scene this is exactly what it is doing with full scan if you wanted to do with sample you can uh, use with sample and then you can provide your sampling right here if it's a, a sample rows or a sample percentage right here so you can go ahead and run this script and it will update the stats of all the database as you can see right here uh, command update is successfully it has uh, basically update all the stats on our uh, SQL Server user databases so um, just just to wrap up this video we have learned all the user database using SQL Server Management Studio and also we have created T-SQL script out of uh, maintenance plan and we use that script and we ran basically that script we did not run the uh, maintenance plan but uh, maintenance plan back behind the scene the T-SQL that was running we copied that and we ran that and it ran successfully that kinda gave us assurance that it's gonna work our maintenance plan is gonna work and we also looked at the options of update index stats only and also looked at the options update columns stats only so it'll be your choice it depends on your performance what kind of uh, scenarios you, that you're running in uh, you can use either of that option and I hope this video helps.